What the fuck? Hello guys, welcome to We Throttle. Today we're going to discuss something really important, and it's one of the most important class of the motorcycle. It's the quarter liter, and uh, with that, first we would like to welcome this motorcycle and the owner of this bike. So this is the Kawasaki Z250, and with me is the owner, Mr. Gaurav. So I would like to welcome and let's share his experience. Hello, Mr. Gaurav. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good, good, good. So uh, nice bike. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> So first of all, I would like to ask, what made you think that uh, this is the perfect motorcycle for you for this particular segment actually? Because this is, I think, 2.5 lakhs on road. Well, actually, uh, every person has their uh, own kind of interest in vehicles, and uh, if you talk about the price, uh, you can say that it's uh, quite higher than the other bikes in the same segment. Right. But uh, the thing is, when you ride this bike, you do not think about the price tag. You think oh. about the quality. So you're more connected the with the motorcycle actually. Yes. And uh, I would like to know how about the engine? Is it like good enough? Because uh, I think this revs up up to 13,000 RPM. But uh, do you get enough torque uh, in the start on the first gear? Yeah, uh, well, in the beginning when I first rode this bike, I was thinking that uh, it is quite, uh, you can say, it was uh, taking me with it itself. Okay. And uh, after 200 and 300 kilometers, now I'm feeling more connected with this, and uh, now you can say I'm enjoying the ride. Yes, of course, I, I totally believe that, because when I rode this motorcycle, this gave me goosebumps after like 9 to 10,000 RPM, and uh, this goes like anything. It gives you that super bike power and feel, but there's something much more important that I would like to discuss, and that is that in India, now we have three more options as if for now in 250cc when you go for a naked segment of uh, bike the first one is Yamaha FZ250 so there are other two motorcycles but we do not have them right now they are the Benelli 250 TNT and also so there's another bike which is coming from the KTM stable and that's Duke 250 but as if for now we have this particular piece of machinery available with us. We also have the owner of this particular motorcycle with us and his name is Adarsh and we would like to welcome him. Hi Adarsh. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Nice to meet you. Same here, same here. So uh, what do you think about this machine when this thing costs almost 2 lakh rupees less than the Z250 but this has slightly less features I guess. This is the air and oil cooled engine. Yes. So, what is the major difference that you felt between both the bikes because uh, you rode the Z250 as well? See, uh, looking at the cost of this bike, mm -hmm. it is around uh, 1 lakh 30 thousand uh, on road. On road, okay. And uh, looking at the price of this bike, I think the price is worth okay. buying this bike. Exactly. And if you compare with that bike, uh, that bike is more comfortable. If you look, have the looks of that bike, yeah, that it looks, looks more amazing, yeah. more heavy and... Uh, I totally agree with you, that looks yeah. uh, a little heavier and yeah. it looks like a bigger engine. And uh, also, what about the cornering? Uh, on the corners, means you can go with the throw. So now we will ride both the bikes back to back and let's see how they perform on the road. Because uh, these are street bikes and they should behave like one. I still think Yamaha is a better value to money motorcycle, although when you buy a Z250, you're buying a legend. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. So guys here it is let's just turn on the ignition and then you have this small screen here uh, which is giving us the information like the rpm meter this is the fuel range then you have the fuel consumption meter so let's just turn it on cool so uh, i really like like this uh, looks like a premium product wow 
Wow. Somehow, <laughs> this is very much engaging, guys. And it's easy to handle. Really loved the way this thing is handling. The braking is okay, it's not too bad, <clears throat> good, but yeah, you might have to push it a little harder than you would expect it to, but on the corners this is fun. Gearbox is amazing. Braking is good. The rear brake. Yes, good brakes. So now, what we'll do is we'll try to ride it a little slower on the top gear. This has got five gears actually, and uh, this motorcycle is producing almost 20 newton meters. But that comes so early at around 6000 rpm and also the horsepower is less but then that's not the point because you need the acceleration again I am as you all know I am always inclined towards the acceleration and now I am on the 5th gear let's see how slow we can ride this so let's see if it is like city friendly very nice yeah no knocking so far yes so around 30 to 33 kilometers an hour you can ride the motorcycle at like fifth gear there's no problem at all the handling is amazing front brake bite could have been a little bit better wow i love the grunt of the bike Seriously amazing guys. Oh, this changes direction quickly as well. there you go now we have the Z250 and uh, the quality of the switches good no issues with that let's just turn it on now you have this neutral engine light then you also have other lights here the speedometer kilometer reading fuel gauge clock trip A trip B and auto and this is to reset so actually Yamaha is giving you more options on the uh, dash but that's like enough I guess let's just start it so the engine looks super smooth the best thing is that this thing can go up to 13,000 rpm and you can imagine how this can be gives you a proper sport bike feeling the chassis is so well connected to you although this is heavier than the FZ250 
The brake bite is awesome. Even the suspension is a little bit stiffer. So around the corner you can go with confidence. There is a reason why you should have that engine in your garage. This is a beast in 250cc which is hard to tame and once you get the hold of it everything is sorted out I wish I could take this bike to the racetrack the brake bite is so good but you cannot stop me loving this bike big smile on the face <laughs> this is why you should spend that money on a bike like this. <laughs> I must say, it doesn't feel like I'm riding a 250cc engine. Riding both the motorcycles, one thing I can say is that both the street fighters are absolutely fun to ride, but there's a whole lot of difference in the character of both the machines. So after riding the Yamaha, I can say one thing that this thing is full of torque. You get all the torque so much early and this is so much fun to ride. Pops up wheelies anytime you like and stops really good. Uh, not as good as the Z250 but uh, it's good enough because the rear that helps you stop the motorcycle uh, really quickly and uh, the engine response is amazing so the seating position on the Yamaha is uh, way better because uh, both of your legs are tucked in uh, into the tank and uh, which gives you confidence while going on the corners uh, on the other hand the Z250 gives you the confidence on the longer rides so the braking on the uh, Z250 is better and uh, that gives you the confidence even in the corners the weight is uh, 20 kilograms uh, more than the FZ250 which is in terms better when you think about going into the corners because that gives you the stability but on the other hand the FZ is faster in the corners because this is light so I'm totally confused uh, which bike to be named as the best so if I would have to pick one I would like to go for the FZ250 Although I love the Z250 very much, but there is something called as fun which is there in this bike. So I hope you guys like the video and uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you get all the notifications when I post the video. But really good machine.